is Dwayne the Blake from Refine Horizons and in this short video I'm going to show you how I set up a template project in TBC and we actually use two templates so we have one that we use for what we call our network projects that's where we do all our fast static data processing so all of our projects uh, start with a fast static control network and we put everything on state plane coordinates so we always start with a network project and then after the network's complete uh, we have what we call a working project where we check in all our daily jobs. Uh, it's mostly total station data, but can be some additional uh, GPS data depending on the project that we're working on. So um, I want to show you in this video how, how I set up a network template. Okay, and uh, if you're a TBC user, it's a good idea to, to have a template that you use in your organization that has some of your settings kind of baked in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a new uh, new project and I'm going to choose you a survey foot and uh, we're actually going to make that the default yeah, well, let me do that there we go so we're going to make that the default and uh, I, I should add that you know the, the settings that you use in your organization are going to be a little bit different uh, but I want to just walk you through some of the key settings I think you should do when you set up a template all right so, I hate these grid lines, <laughs> and they took them off the ribbon. I don't think I have a way to, um, I don't think they're in the, I don't think it's in here. And I don't have this set up yet, so anyways, when I get this open on my work computer, I will definitely be turning off those, those these grid lines drive me crazy, but... All right, so the very first thing we want to do here is uh, we're just going to save this as a template. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in our templates folder under control. And we're going to call this PDC Working Project. Oh, I actually, I goofed that up, so I want to save this as a TBC Network Project. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is go into my project settings here. And uh, under general information, we're going to go ahead and set up a couple of these things. So uh, let's see. Right here under company information, we're going to put uh, redefined horizons. And then we're going to add the address. And I like to do this because if anybody ever ends up with your data file, They'll be able to open this, see who you are, and so I just put this information in, we want this in each project, okay, this user information here, oop, Uh, I'm going to leave blank uh, because this will change depending on who's doing the work. Okay, but coordinate system, I'm going to go ahead and set. And uh, you may not want to do this if you regularly work in more than one coordinate system because it can lead to problems. But uh, we almost always work in uh, State Plain Zone 3, California State Plain Zone 3 here. And uh, my folks are good enough to know that if they're in a different zone that they need to change that. And... You're going to stick with that geoid. I'm going to say it's survey quality. And we are almost always on NABD88 for cores. So we'll set that. Okay, so now the coordinate system set by default. Okay, I don't mess with any of these other... Um, I don't mess with any of these other settings here. Okay, but I do come down. Let's just double check our units. Coordinate, I like northern easting. That's the order I like to work in. Okay, and uh, right here we're showing to the nearest uh, thousandth. I don't normally do that. Nearest hundredth is good enough. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I like the rest of those are fine. Okay, distance. want to make sure we're U.S. survey foot. Again, I'm going to show us to the nearest hundredth. Okay. Check our angular. Degrees, minutes, second. Looks good. Decimal precision. 
think I'm gonna I'm gonna bump that to zero. So I like all this. North Asmus, that's what we want, vertical angle zenith. So I think those are those are good. That's mostly what I want to do there. Square foot, I'm gonna leave area at square foot. Okay, then the, the next important thing. I'm just curious if I can turn off those grid lines in here. Grid line definition. Oh man. No grid lines. Look at this. <laughs> okay, I think that'll turn off the grid lines. Alright, so the other thing I want to do down here is in computations, the most important thing here is your point tolerances. So generally when I'm doing network processing, I want it to tell me if I've got more than a tenth horizontally, and then I usually do 1500s vertically. And uh, these you can just leave. I, I'm, this is like GIS grade stuff right here. I never mess with that. Okay, and do I want to merge on import? Yes. Um, and then uh, I like to say, let's see, my custom tolerance will let me, yeah, so I'm going to say, hey, if those points are closer than a tenth horizontally and a tenth vertically, I want to merge them on import. Okay, and then, uh, okay, right here, so it, this is, when do you want it to flag your GPS vectors? And uh, I'm just going to set these to 15 hundredths and three tenths. That's just what I, that's my preference. Okay, same thing here. Uh, we don't have tilt distance on our stuff, but you might want to set your tilt distance tolerance. Uh, mean angles, uh, I find that these values are generally too small for the total station that we're using, so I'm going to bump these up to 30 seconds and 45. And uh, slope distance, I find that's a little big, actually. Uh, we usually measure our distances closer than that. Okay. So, uh, let's see, Traverse, maximum misclosure per station, it's got some precisions. I'm going to go ahead and leave these in here. Uh, let's see, this, these all these values look reasonable to me. That's about all I mess with in here. Um, we're not doing construction calcs or other things in here. So I'm not going to mess with that. So the next important thing for me is uh, the default standard errors. And uh, what I like to do, I'm going to focus on the GNSS. Actually, right up here, default standard errors. I do not want to use the baseline processor. I want to use the project settings. And what that means is now it's paying attention to this part at the top here. Okay. And uh, these, are, these are probably too big. I'm going to make these 100th and 100th. Okay, and I can tell you these PPM errors are way too high. So I'm going to do a tenth of a PPM on each of these. Okay, and then centering error, you know, I think uh, probably a hundredth and uh, maybe a hundredth and a half on those is reasonable. You just want to pick some reasonable settings here. Okay. So here on the on leveling, I'm going to put in a hundredth of a, a hundredth of error for each setup. I think that's pretty reasonable. We do sometimes do level processing in here. Okay, and here on our default standard errors, again, I think these angular errors are a little low. So I'm going to bump these up. I'm going to do 5 seconds and 10 seconds. Uh, slope distance, that's pretty good. It's down by 100. Uh, again, centering errors. I'm going to give myself a hundredth on each of those and a hundredth on the HI and the height of target too. Because we're good, but we're not that good. And then I don't I don't mess with any of these. Okay, if you have a feature code library, you want to go ahead and set that here. Uh, we don't have one set up. We're processing our line work and our layering in, in CAD, but we probably will set that up. So if you have that set up, you want to go ahead and do that here. Okay, so that takes care of most of the settings. That's most of the work. Oh, those grid lines are gone now. Now, there's one other thing that I like to do on my project template, and that is I like to set up uh, my reports. So let's see if I can remember where that's at in here. So we want to we want to set up our report settings. Trying to remember where that's at now. I might have to add that. 
Oh, here we go. So up here on this toolbar, it's under uh, report options. That's what we want. And uh, the main one that I change in here, because this is for what we use for static processing is the GNSS loop closure. Okay, and uh, what I want to do is um, in the report settings, I don't do PPM. I do change in horizontal, change in vertical. And I set my horizontal at 15 hundredths and my vertical at 3 tenths. Okay. And then in my report sections, I like this. I like to hide the past loops. I only want to see the loops that failed. So I'm going to say apply. Okay, so that sets that up. I don't think I change anything on the network adjustment report, but let's go look. So those are the two main reports I use in this template. I use the loop closure and I use the uh, I use the network adjustment report. And yeah, I just I just take the defaults here. All right, so just to kind of review, we went in, set our project settings. Sorry, that's my wife yelling at my dog. I went in and set the, hey, be quiet. I went in and set the project settings, and then. Uh, customize those two reports, the loop closure report and the, uh, the network adjustment report. Okay, now the other thing I, that I need to do, I probably won't do it in this video, but um, I also like to set up a couple uh, report formats. Actually, let's just, or uh, export format, sorry. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we go into home, export on the ribbon and export format editor. And what I like to do is I like to add a uh, combined scale factor export. Okay, so we're going to make that delimited with a comma. I like the extension to be CSV. Okay, and I like ASCII, not Unicode. Okay, so... Alright, so what I want to show here is I want to show point ID. Okay, and then I want uh, the uh, elevation. And then I'm going to add the combined scale factor, factor and the meridian convergence angle or the mapping angle. And we're going to set this to degrees, minutes, seconds. These are the things, by the way, that you need uh, per California Public Resources Code if you're going to use official state plane coordinates. So uh, now if you go to export, uh, you will have that under custom, you will have that format. Okay, RH combined scale factor. And then I usually do one more if you're, if you're using the feature code library with attributes. You got to tweak this a little bit to get your this one. You got to tweak this a little bit to get your attribute values out. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That'll give you an idea of the settings you need to look at to set up a a TBC template, at least for uh, processing of static uh, GNSS data.